Always a terrific venue to watch a football match. I'm talking about the Emirates Stadium here in North London. My name is Derek Ray, positioned here on the commentary gantry, and sitting next to me, ready to give you all the analysis, is Stuart Robson. And it's all about action from the Premier League in this case. It's Arsenal facing Manchester City. Thanks, Derek, as always. This should be a good game. Great atmosphere inside the stadium. We've got two teams full of quality, some interesting matchups, and two coaches that want to play an attractive brand of football. What more could you ask for? Well, couldn't quite find his teammate. You can't really tackle like that and expect to get away with it. Booking to come, you would think. We're going to see the first yellow card of the game. The referee not standing on ceremony. Well, he's under pressure now. It's a long time to be on a booking. Joao Cancelo. The ball with Rodri. Well, clattered away. Well, playing away from home hasn't been a problem at all for Manchester City. The record is proof positive of that, Stuart. Well, seven wins from the last nine games is excellent. And it's all started by their defensive structure. They force their opponents into areas where they're strong, and then they break quickly when they regain possession. It's certainly worked for them. Good looking ball, there could be a chance now. It's a neat move. There it is, the opening goal of this match, and what a start they've made. Well, here it is again, and it was never really in doubt, was it? He was always going to score from there. So the action continues, and City looking to offer a swift response to that setback. Did well to win the ball back. De Bruyne. Gabriel Jesus. Well, the crossing needs to be a bit better than that. This might be the perfect counter-attacking opportunity. We wonder who was going to win the race. The answer, the goalkeeper. Grealish. Silva. And Manchester City moving the ball with purpose. Well, they might be onto something. Oh, but cutting it out in the nick of time. Lokonga. Making excellent progress with the ball at his feet. Oh, good hit. Close shave. Well, the half-time interval fast approaching. It's Arsenal with the lead. And a good point, I think, Stuart, to get your critique of their performance so far. Yes, they've defended really well all over the pitch. Their work rate and discipline has been excellent. But any drop in tempo and this lead could easily slip away. Foden. Bernardo Silva. He's taken on his opponent here. Foden. Chances on, 
And that's what they needed, Manchester City. A goal to level matters here. Well, here it is again. The build-up is so patient. They're just waiting to play that killer pass at the right time. And when he gets onto it, he decides to go for power. It's a really emphatic finish, which gives the keeper no chance. So the ball is rolling again at one all. Well, he likes to run at them. Gabriel. And a poor ball. Well, City, as the stats highlight, have had most of the ball. But unless they find some inspiration from somewhere, I'm not sure where the winner will come from. They certainly need to up the tempo. Superb effort to keep it in. And the quality of the pass needs to be a bit better. So the whistle then. We're up the halfway stage in this match. Plenty to consider based on what we've seen so far as the second half begins. Joao Cancelo. On to Silva. Intelligent threaded pass here. And Bernardo Silva has it. To jump in front. Well, he opted for power from close range. He might be regretting that now. Foden. Foden. Bernardo Silva. Well, he's almost been hassled out of play here. And a substitution in the offing. De Bruyne, here's Bernardo Silva, Foden, superb block. Thomas. Foden. Now a potentially dangerous position for Sissi. But ultimately up a cul-de-sac. Aubameyang. And possibilities here. Well, it didn't happen for them in attack. Jesus. Walker now. De Bruyne. Gabriel Jesus. Walker. Well, when you sit off like this, you invite pressure. Can he put them in front? Well, he stumped it out of there without much fuss.
Walker. De Bruyne. And it will be an Arsenal free kick. And Manchester City will go to their bench. Given him too much space. And a goal it is to put them in front again. No less than they deserve. Well, here's the goal again, and it's a really nice ball to put him through. The vision to set up the chance is outstanding. And then the shot is emphatic. He strikes it with such power, the keeper has no time to react. What a good finish. the dying embers will it prove decisive here well nicely cut out Martin Erdegaard Arsenal finding space on the wing Throw into Arsenal coming up. A change in the offing for City. It needs an accurate cross. Well, the crossing needs to be a bit better than that. Walker. Well, there's still scope for late drama here. Five minutes left, and just one goal between the sides. Manchester City have work to do, but is it going to happen for them? And that pass could be troublesome. A decisive clearance it was. Really getting stuck in. Gundogan well getting in the way superb save well this might be their final opportunity to draw level and Manchester City will go to their bench Played over. It might still be problematic. Gundogan. This could be the equaliser. But no, when your goalkeeper comes up with a save like that late in the game, you have cause to be thankful. And so the referee blows for full time, and it's disappointment for Manchester City, a defeat for them. Your assessment of the performance. Well, it was close, but in the end, they couldn't find that moment of quality to get the equaliser. But you can't fault their work rate. They threw everything at it. They just have to move on to the next game now.